actually this year we want to develop the Republic of Gaming, the subbrand of Asus. That's a purely gaming brand. Then we want to we want to let all our end user or our customer know Asus is one of the IT company. We can bring total solution to the gamer. Total solution means from tablet to laptop, all in one PC, desktop, even motherboard, VGA. We can provide everything about gaming, gaming equipment, everything to the gamer. Yeah. Actually, today we launched uh, two product, two amazing product. One is G G20. It's the most powerful desktop in the market so far, and the other one is a GX550. It's the first laptop with 4K 4K resolution in the market. Then it's coming to the market soon. So I'm so excited about these two products. Yeah. Actually, you can see the design like first is seven inch, and actually we used to produce Nexus Seven. And after uh, after Google work with other other vendors, then we start to pr produce our high end tablet. We also with Intel CPU, and you can see the chassis, everything. Yeah. And the retail price is about three three and a half thousand rand. So it's, yeah, very 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 good product. So May Games is the industry association for game development in South Africa. We represent 32 uh, development companies and about 205 individual members. Uh, we've been around for about four years now and uh, we, we sort of lobby government and act as a community centre for people interested in game development. We've got a bursary program, so we've put two students now through VITS um, to study game design at their, at their, uh, on their program. Um, and we've got uh, a variety of studios, so we've got some startups, we've just, you know, they're about to release their first game, like Clockwork Gecko, who's over there, which is very cool, uh, to Broforce, which or Free Lives rather, we've made a game called Broforce. Um, and they've been, they've uh, got the deal to do the Expendables 3 movie game, tie-in game, which is very cool. So the scene's growing, um, the industry we're hoping for about 153% growth in the next year, it's going to be amazing. And we just, we... One of the things that's really odd is, is that South Africans don't buy South African games for a variety of reasons. So that's part of why we're at Rage here today is to show people that one, South African games do exist, they're really fun, you can get them, and two, also that's possible to actually make a living making games in South Africa. So most of them are available on Steam, so online distribution. So if you go into Steam, South Africa has, uh, Make Games South Africa has curated a store, uh, part of the new Steam functionality. So every South African game that is available can be bought. Some of them are still in prototype, prototype phase or alpha and haven't been formally released yet. Um, but if people go to our website, makegamesa.com, a lot of the prototypes and betters are available there for people to download and play. My name is Johan, I'm from Telkom Do Gaming. Uh, we recently uh, finished up all of the qualifications for the DGC, which is the Do Gaming Championships. The guys are all here because they participated from the beginning of the year. We start with uh, the Summer League, then the guys have a qualification round after that, and then they play in the Winter League, and then they have the playoffs for the teams to qualify for the championships. This year we just have a little bit more than a million rands worth of prize money again, second year in a row. So it's fantastic for all of the guys that have participated during the year uh, in the league and are now at the DGC Championships. And uh, the beauty of this is, is the internet makes this all possible. You know, the guys at Telcom has done a stunning job, put in some nice decent internet for the guys to play today. And everyone that plays in the league now has the opportunity to meet their friends and play in a LAN environment. I'll say this is by far the biggest league in South Africa. We have 5,700 people that participate on a weekly basis and then we invite the top 500 to come and participate here which is just a little bit less than 10% of all of the league players. So yes, we have been blessed every year. We've had tremendous growth which is absolutely fantastic and we encourage all of your viewers as well, please you know, join the leagues, it's great fun, get a couple of mates, join a clan. Dota this year has been phenomenal. We had 274 teams participate, so that is just outstanding for our local South African boykies. What uh, that's going to be from next year, we, there's going to be a lot of additional changes. Uh, next year is going to just be bigger and better. We are going to 
divide the leagues up even more and um, make sure that we get even more people participating and then the skill levels will be happy to introduce sometime next year the telecom masters guys will be playing for seats at that so that's absolutely fantastic we look very much forward to that one as well